Hello everyone, this is Jade. It is time for another unboxing. So I just got this over the weekend. It arrived, actually no, the other day. I can't remember when it came here, but here it is. I have to do this by hand here. I don't know where my tripod is, but look, it's the Kingdom Hearts vinyl clock. So this is actually like a vinyl disc. I think like a record and they just cut in the uh, Kingdom Hearts stuff on here so you can see it's kind of it's kind of bendy kind of wobbly but it looks so cool like this whoa so the hands are right here. Um, actually, one thing that I, I am kind of disappointed with though is this. So when I saw the picture on the website, it looked like it was actually like a bunch of metal parts that would actually be in, in here. But it turns out that this is just a sticker. So the cool factor just kind of went down for me, but it's still very, very cool. I'm still going to put it up on my wall. I feel like I have to handle it so carefully because it is kind of bendy. It's kind of wobbly. So yeah, there you go. Look at that. I guess that's Ventus. Is that Aqua? No. Wait, that's Roxas? Is it Roxas or Ventus? I don't know. Kyrie? I think that's Kyrie. And Riku. Right? I'm not going crazy here, right? Anyways, let's see if I can get the um Let's see if I can try and install these hands with just one hand. So here's what it looks like on the back. We're gonna have to put some batteries in there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, is this, is this what the record is? Is this the name of the record? I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't think anything else comes with this here. Let me see. Let's set this aside. I think that's it for the box, yeah. That is it. So we'll just set that aside here. It's my first time trying to do an unboxing with just one hand. So, let's see. I need to find my tripod right away. I know I can do this. I know I can do this. It doesn't come with instructions. So I'm not quite sure. Okay, so this is, um, I guess it's like aluminum. You can see that. Maybe you can't. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So I think it's cut from aluminum. So it is kind of, hmm, it's kind of rough around the edges here. Not a very polished look. Here's the second hand. Oh. Let's focus. So there's the second hand. And there we go. Yeah, so if you can see in the light there, it's not very polished. 
I guess from far away it wouldn't really look too, too bad. So I'm guessing I just put these here. I'm not quite sure how to install it. Like, which one should go first? Oh, so this, this has... Oh. So the hole in this one is a bit bigger. So I'm guessing this one would go down first. Right here? I guess. And then comes this, this one. And then the second hand would go on top. I guess that's how it works. It doesn't snap in place or anything, so... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to find some batteries and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so it seems like, if you can, if it will focus here, there is a film that is on these, uh, the hour and the minute hand there. So once you take that off, it's actually more polished. You can see that right there. So it does look better. At first I thought, oh, it's not, uh, it's not looking very well finished. As you can see with the, with the film on top, it doesn't look too finished. Just trying to get that off there, yeah, so. After you get that off, there you go. It actually looks better. So I was trying to put everything on the clock. I don't think I need to press it down too hard, hopefully. We just kind of put it on top. There we go. I actually found my tripod here. Here we go, that's how it looks. Um, I was hoping I could hold it up and kind of move the thing, see if it actually works. I don't think I can do it with one hand, or can I? Oh, there you go. So I can move it, and it gets stuck. <laughs> It gets stuck on the second hand, so, oh, and it fell down! So not really well put together here. Um, I don't know if I need to bend the second hand back more into shape. Oh no, it doesn't really seem like it's very well built. I don't know why the hands are... Unless I'm not putting this together properly, but yeah, it's it doesn't seem very well built. So, sorry, this video is so handheld. So I'm trying to see if I can get this to work. If it doesn't get caught, so. There we go, it can actually work properly. If it can, nope. It's getting caught. It's getting caught. 
So I don't know if I need to play around with that a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, this looks good, but it doesn't seem very functional right now. I'm still very happy with it, but it's not functional, so it makes me not so happy. <laughs> still looks good though, so I still like that. I would still put it up on my wall. But yes, so there it is. If you were thinking about purchasing one, I mean, I don't know, it looks good. I guess it would be great to just put on your wall, but if you actually want a functioning clock, um, unless I can get the second hand and the minute hand and stuff to work properly and not get caught on each other, it's not gonna function as a clock. <laughs> All right, so there is the unboxing of the Kingdom Hearts vinyl clock. I will put a link in the description box below just to let you know where I got it from. I actually purchased it off of amazon.com um, from one of the vendors. Um, they were really good in their delivery. The time was great. Um, shipping was great. No issues there. So, I mean, go and take a look for yourself. Um, they definitely do a lot of great designs and they look very interesting. So do check it out. Thanks for watching everybody. This is Jade and I will talk to you next time. Bye!